my name is Jeff Hips, and I'm the Senior Vice President for Amplifier Technologies. For those of you who aren't familiar with Amplifier Technologies, we manufacture amplifiers, preamp processors, and Blu-ray players for our own and other brands in our factory in Montebello, California. We're here today to talk about Theta Digital, and specifically about the new Casablanca 3 HD preamp processor. Now, to me, Theta is about three things. It's about Premium audio, as close to the edge of the art as we can get. It's about visual satisfaction, or what I'll call fine audio with sculpture, and it's also about satisfying our sense for the tactile. The three-dimensional control buttons are a kind of a, a, a Theta hallmark, if you will. The Theta Casablanca platform actually dates back to the early 1990s when the Casablanca 1 was brought out and the premise here when Theta began was digital done right. There were people doing digital who said, you know, it sounds harsh, it sounds bright, it doesn't have the same spatial characteristics as analog audio, and we knew there was a better way. So we developed circuitry uh, to reduce jitter, circuitry to recover every bit of data. We used oversampling and separate DSP processors to really pre-produce state-of-the-art digital audio. The Casablanca began as a Model 1, but knowing the Casablanca, this is almost like Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. If you know where an item is, you don't know where it's going. If you know where it's going, you don't know where it is. And this is a fully upgradable platform. Customers who bought a Casablanca 1 could upgrade it to a Casablanca 2. They could upgrade that device to a Casablanca 3 and ultimately to a 3HD. Now we have kind of turned that on its heads because the Casablanca 1 chassis was a different size. It sold for roughly $5,000 when it was purchased new, and we have a program now where we will offer a $5,000 trade-in allowance for owners of a Casablanca 1 or a Casablanca 2 who wish to proceed to the Casablanca 3 HD. Now, to understand Theta, we almost now have to turn this around and look at the rear panel. Can we do that? Can we go over in the back? The Casablanca platform has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slots, all of which speak to the motherboard. The three slots on the far right are des 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 devoted to output, easy for me to say. On the left hand side, this is a power supply. This is the video input board. We have audio input boards, both analog and digital. We can add a digital output board, and here's an analog in. So each of these can be configured however the consumer wants them but with some caveats today. Slot one is a bright, you know. Now if you had a Casablanca 3 HD, you would see a bank of analog video inputs. You'd see the same audio outputs, you'd see the same audio inputs, but you'd have a different power supply. When we decided to upgrade the Casablanca 3 to give it HD status, we designed a new power supply which goes into slot one. We designed and manufactured a new HDMI input board, which offers four in and one out. We designed a new audio decoder board, which is not visible from the inside. We have a new display, and we have a new, met new metalwork. The cost to upgrade a Casablanca 3 to Casablanca 3 HD is $4,995. So overall, this platform runs about $15,000. What we're talking about, the slots on the back, this is a 12-channel platform, so we could, this can be configured to have 7.5 would be the maximum configuration available today. Now, because this is fully upgradable and I'm in charge of the upgrading, I can tell you today that we will be making additions to the Casablanca platform, which we expect to have available still in calendar 2011. One of these additions will be that we will put DTS Neo X into the Casablanca so we can take advantage of the 11.1 configuration to give our customers even more audio options. And the second option that we just announced here at the show is we have now become a licensee for an advanced room correction technology called Dirac Live. Dirac Live uses a microphone and a freestanding laptop computer 
to give precise measurements of the frequency and phase response of every speaker in the system. It then fixes, fixes frequency and phase, and we can download those coefficients back into the Casablanca 3 to give people the state-of-the-art audio and improve everything that's going on. Um, in summary, a platform that began in 1991 still recapitulates advanced audio, visual, and tactical. It has now been upgraded to include HDMI and lossless audio, and will have a further upgrade to give it DTS Neo X and Dirac Live Advanced Room Correction. I'm Jeff Hips. Thank you for your time.